cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us, because that's not supposed to happen. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. friend, I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt- Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, you don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything, unless it's test related. If you're allergic to peanuts, you might want to tell somebody now, because this next test may turn your blood into peanut water for a few minutes. On the bright side, if we can make this happen, they're going to have to invent a new type of Nobel Prize to give us, so hang in there. The average human male is about 60% water. As far as we're concerned, that's a little extravagant. So if you feel a bit dehydrated in this next test, that's normal. We're going to hit you with some jet engines and see if we can't get you down to 20 or 30%. All right, we're working on a little teleportation experiment. Now, this doesn't work with all skin types, so try to remember which skin is yours, and if it doesn't teleport along with you, we'll do what we can to sew you right back into it.
those people in the portrait, they look so familiar. <laughs> <laughs> 